The Banking Association has downplayed the latest bout of downgrades to hit South Africa. After downgrading South Africa's credit rating earlier, international rating agency Moody's took aim at the top five banks last night. It cut the credit ratings of ABSA, FMB Standard, Nedbank and Investec, citing their exposure to government debt. It is the second time that Moody's has downgraded South African banks in just three months. South Africa's big banks hold a sizable chunk of government's debt in the form of bonds. This links their credit worthiness to that of the government. Last week, Moody's downgraded the government's sovereign debt rating to two notches above so-called junk status. Junk status is officially termed non-investment grade and makes it very hard to borrow from capital markets. Any downgrade makes it more expensive for those affected to borrow money. But the Banking Association says the downgrading of banks by Moody's was expected. When a sovereign is downgraded, usually if a bank then has a higher grading than the sovereign, the bank does get the banks do get downgraded because banks can't have a higher grading than the sovereign. The high levels of indebtedness by consumers in the country is another reason for the downgrade. Moody's says this exposes the major banks to the risk of defaults. Customers who couldn't pay back were responsible for the fall of African Bank. Given the sluggish economy, given the fact that we're not making a dent on our unemployment, given the over-indebtedness indebtedness situation, and the fact that people's incomes are constrained as a result of the slow economy and so on, uh, that it obviously has an impact on bank business in the sense that there isn't the sort of demand from corporates for loans because they're not investing to the extent that they could. Uh, banks are managing over-indebted situations and so they're becoming more conservative on the lending, quite correctly. So it had an impact on the volume of banks' business. Uh, yeah, and, and so long as the economy remains sluggish, uh, uh, banks' ability to actually uh, expand their business in the corporate environment in, in, in other sectors of the economy is obviously limited. Moody's downgraded ABSA, Standard Bank, FNB, NetBank and Capitec in August soon after the collapse of African Bank. The ratings of the Development Bank of Southern Africa and the Industrial Development Corporation were also downgraded yesterday. The good news is a further downgrade is not on the cards anytime soon. Moody's says the outlook for the banks is stable, but there is no such luck for ESCOM. Moody's has cut its credit rating by one notch to junk status. The power utility already faces a huge revenue shortfall and the cut will make future borrowings more complicated. It's bad. Um, it's very bad. You know, the uh, junk status basically means it's going to be very difficult for ESCOM to really raise um, any capital, they're already under pressure, um, you know, in terms of, you know, raising money through the bond market. And any further downgrades would actually make it so impossible, Im impossible for them to really um, uh, acquire uh, money. Unlike Moody's, Standard & Poor's has left ESCOM's rating unchanged with a negative outlook. SNP says its affirmation of what is a low investment grade rate took account of government's financial support package announced by Finance Minister Ndlandanene in his mid-term budget speech last month. ESCOM has welcomed the affirmation of its credit rating by SNP. It says this will help in achieving financial stability and funding its infrastructure rollout. Mbongini Mutua, SABC News, Johannesburg.